Every year, hundreds of people die on our nation's highways when their small cars slide under big trucks. It's known as an underride crash. In tonight's Spotlight on America, investigative reporter John Chrysos reveals the design flaw creating the risk on the road. It can happen to anybody at, at any time. Mary Ann Carth would know it happened to her. In May 2013, she and her son survived this crash on a Georgia highway, but her two daughters did not. You know, Leah died right there in the scene, and Mary, a few days later from the injury she had. She came upon slowed traffic, was hit by a truck, and pushed right into another tractor trailer. Over and over, I see it happening because there's not strong enough under eye protection. The car easily goes underneath. The so called underride crashes involving large trucks have claimed an average of 219 lives every year between 2008 and 2017. And a report from the Government Accountability Office indicates the problem may be even worse, claiming these fatalities are likely underreported. It's one of the uh, more um, horrific crash types that you're going to see. The guard bends. David Harkey at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety shared this video with Spotlight on America. It shows what often happens, rear impact guards failing in a crash. For a number of years, we have uh, pushed for stronger regulation for rear underride guards. Manufacturers have made strides in improving those guards since this testing in 2011. Take a look here. The newer guard in the bottom frame shows it doing a better job stopping the car than the older one above, allowing things like the airbags and crumple zone technology to deploy. But there are still millions of existing trailers with the weaker guard on it. Safety advocates are working with members of Congress on new legislation. It would require trucks to have the new and stronger rear guards and also front and side guards. Similar legislation in the past has failed to move forward, in part because of opposition from trucking groups. How can you oppose equipment to stop underrides and save lives? You can't just tell the trucking industry, hey, here's a $40 billion mandate. We just want you to absorb it. It doesn't work that way. Mike Matusik represents more than 160,000 truck drivers. He says his group supports proposals to require tougher underwrite guards on the backs of new trailers, but not on the sides or front. I think the enhanced rear underwrite guards will address a lot of these issues. In a letter, families of victims are making an emotional appeal for action to President Biden, whose own wife and daughter died in a crash with a big rig in the early 1970s. We're very hopeful that this could be a good year for underwrite protection. No matter how long it takes, families of victims say they're committed to making stronger impact guards the norm on our nation's highways. I'm John Crisos for Spotlight on America. Is there a story you think we should investigate? Call our Eyewitness News tip line at 869-2929.